So do you want to just quickly run through how you got to where you are right now for the people at home who don't know who you are? Absolutely. So uh, back in the day, I started uh, working at eight SEO agencies and I, that's how I kind of got my start. I was uh, writing blog posts and I was doing social media content. But even before that, I, when MySpace was around, um, I was also doing social media marketing then. And so I really created content and um, I would design like MySpace pages for bands and metal bands and all this stuff. And then that rapidly developed into um, like really in-depth understanding and uh, work in S the SEO space. But then I created a video agency, which is very similar to I believe what you do, Paul, uh, which I was repurposing content and I was uh, doing very, very well with that. And there was a lot of demand for it and I enjoyed what I did. Once AI came along and I started seeing that shift, my initial thought process was, I don't think that this uh, technology is really going to disrupt anything. It just seemed very, I don't know, generic. Like you'd see an article come out, you'd see a video come out and it was just not on par what I thought, what I felt uh, I could produce. And then something shifted where I started to see, uh, you know, GPT 3.5 at the time really start to create content that I believe was on starting to be on par with what I would expect a human level person to do. I was like, this is going to be a problem. And so I went from a complete AI skeptic to I need to be in this industry and really understand it because it's imperative to me going forward. It'll disrupt everything that I do. I need to be a part of this and you see what I can do to best leverage it for myself. Um, at that point in time, uh, Justin McGill, the founder of Continent Scale, approached me and we had a conversation about joining. I was still a little skeptical. And then once I got on board, I just dove straight in and uh, learned as much as I could about AI systems, about prompting, about LLM stacks and how they'd work. And that brings us up to today where I'm now the director of AI Continent Scale. And I spend most of my time prompting AIs and looking for ways to use AI inside of content and how to do uh, the best content marketing possible. Right. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fascinating journey that you've been on, Jeff. And I guess it highlights something that I've been watching for the last few months now. So I, many, many years ago, I, I went to university and studied software engineering for my sins and realized that it's absolutely not what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I've got a talent for hacking together code, like good enough that I can do what I want to do, but it's never going to be production quality and you know, all those, it's kind of hobby coding is what I call it. Right? And so I've always had, um, a propensity towards tech and technology and making things work together. 